Hi, I'm Mike Benton for AllShadow.com, and today we're going to take a look at how Dashwire can make your life easier. First, we're going to take a look at what Dashwire does, and lastly, we'll go through the setup. If you spend a portion of your day on a computer for work, school, or simply to stay in touch with friends, then Dashwire is for you. Dashwire automatically uploads your videos, contacts, text messages, and more to your Dashwire account. You don't worry about privacy, though. It's only public if you want it to be. Let's take a look at some of the features. I'm not going to show you my contacts, but I will tell you about that once yours are uploaded, you can send text messages, emails, or edit their details from the web interface. Speaking of text messages, Dashwire will automatically track your messages for you, and if you have a back and forth dialogue with a friend, it will list it as a threaded text conversation, so you know where you're at. You can pick up where you left off without a hitch. If you're prone to recording video with your phone, Dashwire will automatically upload those videos for you to your account, from which you can share it with friends or even post it to Facebook, Twitter, FriendFeed, or Bebo. Handling bookmarks is easier with Dashwire. Although it only syncs with Pocket Internet Explorer, it can still be useful if you need to send a link to your phone and don't feel like tapping away with T9. Additionally, there's a catalog you can choose from if you don't have any mobile favorites of your own to begin with. Ringtones. Everybody loves ringtones. But not everybody loves your ringtones. You might not even love your own ringtone. That's why Dashwire has a ringtones manager built in. From the browser interface, you can peruse the ringtones on your device and even make them play on your device. This is much easier and faster than trying to pick a ringtone with the phone's interface. This feature is also helpful if you misplace your phone and don't have a second phone to call from. Just bring up Dashwire and play a ringtone. Voicemail. Dashwire is extended with visual voicemail from CallWave, which is indispensable for many busybodies in the world. If you use CallWave, plug in your details and you can view your voicemail through Dashwire. Calls. Received, made, and missed. You can see them all and search them all right from the browser. The history goes back a lot further than most phones, so you can figure out who you were talking to at 3 a.m. on March 21st for an alibi. Aside from being a great Web 2.0 tool for your phone, Dashwire is also a bit of a social network. You can also tell Dashwire to update your status on sites like Facebook and Twitter. If you like photo documenting your day, you can take a photo and it will be uploaded to Dashwire where you can choose to post it to Facebook, Flickr, or Twitter all at once saving you tons of time updating individual social networks. To get started with Dashwire, you will need an account. Go to dashwire.com slash sign up and enter your information. There might be a step or two but it shouldn't take more than five minutes. Now you're ready to set up your device. First, a warning. When setting up Dashwire and syncing for the first time, I highly recommend that your device be connected over Wi-Fi and charging at the same time. Further, go to Start, Settings, Power Management, and change the settings for Display Timeout on AC to Never. You should change this back after the first sync. On your Windows mobile phone, go to m.dashwire.com and download the application to your device. It should auto run once it's downloaded. Click yes and done a few times to get it installed. Once installed, go to start, Dashwire, and enter the credentials you created the Dashwire account with. Now you're all set. I hope you enjoyed this video and for more Windows Mobile tips and tricks, especially for the T-Mobile Shadow from HTC, go to allshadow.com and have a look around. Until next time, I'm Mike Benton for allshadow.com.